Oh, it's been recording for the last three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> sneaky Raul at it again. Uh, that's why I'm sneaky Raul. We're looking at, let me see when this came out. 88. Okay, 1988. Red Indeed. Hot Chili Peppers. True men don't kill coyotes. And that's actually true. Mm -hmm. Man, it's funky. Yeah, I cursed them. What do you think of this video, Sweet Yoshi? Video-wise, it's probably the most creative one we've seen so far. Very fun. I think this reminds me of like if we had a budget, like just any budget for our music videos, we'd do something kind of cool like this. With a set Absolutely. and lots of hay and colors and stuff. Yeah. What about you? I Well, I was uh, a diehard metalhead. There used to be a show called Friday Night Videos. Came on late Friday night and they showed all, all kinds of different videos. So I was metal. It had to be Metal Slayer. Mm. You know, that was mm. me. This came on and I was like, well, one, it's infectiously catchy. Mm -hmm. They're They're having fun. They look kind of like a metal band the way they're... Ketis has got that like a uh, gimp mask thing on. He has that, yeah, that little garbage bag on for the first <laughs> part. And it's just so like the musicianship is top notch, and it's it was so high energy. I liked it, even though I was not supposed to like anything other than metal. Do you think? Um, because what this late eighties, um, started to dive into like alt rock that it like for the 90 the 90s music scene for me is is fucking chaos and it's strange music the music cool. is amazing to me i love the song i love uh you know flea i i can't take a lot of flea because it's all the same but mm, blah 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 you know <laughs> <laughs> but what about this guitarist, the former guitarist? I think he was a legitimate badass, man, because he's... It's See, I say this about your playing. Like, you, you can be a Momstein or a, or Steve Vai or somebody like that, but I can't listen to them for long because it's all just, mm -hmm. it's all just technique. Yeah. And I say, I say this about your guitar playing. Your guitar playing is tasty. And this guy... Hey. Hillel, I think his name was Hillel, and uh, sorry that he passed so young, but uh, he's tasty. It's it's something he's you want to see. Yeah, it fits. It fits what the song needs, or the or the jam feel needs of it. And that guitar's pretty cool. I have no idea what it is, but it looks like he's put post-it notes on the fretboard. Video wise very catching like it's you your, your eyes are going to watch the whole thing unlike yeah. like the songs that are just the band on stage um dressed up as pirates yeah i thought but they I did get... a great job and to win to win over a young you know it has to be metal guy a young uh, a young raul now i bought their i bought their album on cassette at the time after that cool and, and they they were eclectic like they covered Hank Williams oh really on it yeah they, they did, did the song. yeah it's it's interesting if there was like a cyberpunk fallout New Vegas they could do the soundtrack to it it's got that like spaghetti ish yeah yeah neo spaghetti back then back then mm -hmm. not now yes not now now um, they're just the cor too corporate <laughs> That opening bass, little bass lick, that that mm. sounds cool. That caught my ear back then. Yeah. It's been done to death by now, but back then it really caught my ear. Bass intros are rad. I think they're super underrated. Or vocal yeah, intros, but yeah. Yeah, they're high energy. I, I would give it a, I would give this honestly an eight point <laughs> five. Really? An eight point five, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give you a six and a half. Oh, okay. It, okay. It's something I haven't heard, and it's it's something that I didn't want to just turn off, and it was yeah, 
because I knew the Chili Peppers, but I I haven't really listened to their old stuff. So it was cool listening to it with that guitarist. Tremendo. Tremendo. 